Okay, so Penny Semple, uh, welcome. You're going to present to us Stress Pal. So I have 10 minutes on the clock for you for your presentation, then we'll do five minutes of questions, and you can go ahead and start whenever you're ready. Thank can you. Is, that, is audio good? Yep. Are you good? And you yes. see the slide? You see a slide that says Stress Pal up there? We do. All right, okay. Well, thank you very much. I'm Penny Sempel with the CEO of StressPal. We are a clinician-led company, uh, co-founded with uh, Dr. James Monroe, who's a clinical psychologist and um, expert in stress uh, resilience and psychological medicine, behavioral medicine. Uh, we grew, this project grew out of our 50 plus year experience in witnessing the pain points in medicine around the lack of medical grade behavioral medicine tools and uh, the rising epidemics of stress-related chronic disease, but also the capacity that individuals have to change their health behaviors and strengthen their resilience when they have the right kind of guidance. But of course, access and for people available to do that kind of training is at a premium. Uh, the foundation of physical and mental health at that foundation, psychological resilience is right there. It's something that's not well understood generally in the public and despite, you know, a glut of stress relief apps, stress has only been on the rise. So we're here to address that problem and the lack of awareness around this. Our vision is to really innovate the groundbreaking training to build healthcare communities, flexibility, and resilience, and really create cultures of resilience within healthcare. Uh, the resilience is a complex phenomenon in the brain. It's well understood in research in psychology and neurosciences. It's about how the brain responds and adapts to stress triggers in the heat of the moment. You know, what's the amplitude of the hormonal cascade that follows? Is it a 10? Is it a two? You know, do your stress triggered thoughts and feelings and behaviors and physical responses align with what you value and what has meaning? This is well understood in psychology in, in you know, in those who are specialists in this area and, and are, fortunately, my co-founder is. So we see in our vision here, we want resilience to become part of the self-care equation. We know that's a very new concept, like flossing your teeth. Can you take those seconds a day, those moments a day, to support resilience. We want engaging medical grade tools uh, for resilience at low cost that are secure for healthcare providers for themselves and their patients and for healthcare organizations to create these cultures of resilience for their teams. Uh, we're aiming to set the gold standard for behavioral health education overall, which we feel is really much needed in healthcare. So we, we all are aware of the complex and high stakes dilemma that's driving burnout in, within healthcare, and also, and which is where we began five years ago, was really looking at how can we address the rising caseloads of, of uh, stress-related stress chronic disease, which is 75% of all doctor visits and contributing to burnout. You might think of resilience here as an analogy like a fire, and resilience is our PPE. If it's a small fire, a simple PPE may do the job. If it's a firestorm, you want to have the best PPE, and you want to do everything you can to protect your PPE. Now, clinicians are generally very higher, higher than average in resilience, but the onslaught, the firestorm that they are in is relentless. And so they didn't cause this fire, but they deserve the best PPE. So while we founded the program and did all our research development, market, and market your research and prototype development with our terrific team, when the COVID vir virus hit, we felt a professional responsibility and imperative to take to build a concise resilience tool for created for clinical teams and for healthcare organizations and we got it done so let's get into that so we built out the medical grade tool that's uh, state-of-the-art powerful and delightful stress pal frontline is for for your clinical teams uh, and, and administration the whole clinical, the health organization, of which is about 20 million in the United States alone. It's available now for healthcare organizations, for clinical wellness, clinician wellness initiatives. And we invite you to take a look at our website and look at our demos and what the program is about. Stress Pal Resilient is a self-care program for patients ordered and monitored by the clinician from their own website to help patients with the, the huge range of stress-related chronic diseases 
to build and expands expands the frontline program to get at some of the more social determinants of health. Now, fortifying resilience helps individuals, clearly. There's a lot of research on this. The psychological resilience and flexibility are the benefits. And, help, and it also is going to be helping, helping your healthcare leaders tackle the drivers of burnout. How? How is that so? Well, look at, look at these items that are evidence-based benefits. And this is just a partial list. In the cognitive, behavioral, and physical health area, if you have a whole cohort of people, as our program is designed, so your clinical organization, whether you, you acquire 100 licenses, we call them seats, or 2,500, and your team is doing this as a group, and you, you're indiv it's individually programmed, but you know, as, if it, as a initiative, you're seeing, going to see improvements in some of these key areas around problem solving, creativity, communication, reduce symptoms of burnout that start to help those collaborations around tackling the drivers of burnout. So you have a two-pronged approach here, supporting individuals and really giving a jump start to organizations and creating a culture of resilience. Now, how do we do it? Okay, we're unifying the leading interventions in a self-paced training that's private to the individual and confidential. It takes about four weeks. It is self-paced. There's five levels, and we do these. We know everyone is no time at all. These are very intensive, bite-sized steps. It's a video-rich program. It's highly interactive, very easy onboarding for the organization, and very easy to do oneself with storytelling, interactivity, life practice, all in one package. So with this, bun with this bundle, you've got a program with training and ongoing support for a year. We have a very fine team. I would love to talk with you about everyone's background, but our, our team comes are, are really experts and thought leaders, not only behavioral medicine, uh, Dr. Monroe, we have leaders in our, uh, Karen Connect in nursing, Dr. Carteron in medicine, on our health IT side, uh, Dr. Uh, Jay Eisenstock and Karen Connect, and our fantastic uh, tech partner, MyQuest. We have an amazing creative team and 10 animators. Uh, I was a producer of the series. My background is in, in law, coming into uh, teaching stress resilience training to lawyers, and then moved into 20 years I spent invited to come to Cal Pacific Medical Center. I spent 20 years working with physicians, developing behavioral health uh, programs for patients. So, um, we're, we're fascinated with how you, how you actually help behavioral change happen. So there's a world in need of resilience support. We started with the people who take us, who take care of the rest of us, healthcare providers. Uh, we have just signed a license to uh, two partners we released in October of 2020. And we have adaptive telehealth. We're happy to be working with an uncharted leadership. Uh, we have, a, we've commenced a beta trial at Sutter Health. Um, our go-to-market strategy is direct sales to into healthcare organizations and also these channel partnerships. And those are very valuable partnerships that we're looking for. For them, this is a new class of value-added content that uh, partners are able to add. Our customers are healthcare groups and their teams, of course, medical school, medical and nursing schools and their students, mental health allied professionals, and we think health payers and members may, may be another market to explore for the patient facing tool. Um, in our business model, we are helping help healthcare teams and their bottom line. I'm focusing here primarily on stress health frontline, the tool that's, that's out and available now. Healthcare organizations purchase subscription bundles. It's called SEATS. It's a pretty simple model. May, pur may purchase 100, may purchase 2,500. If we look at the cost of attrition of a single physician, it can be up to 200,000. We also have a high cost of shortages, you know, uh, errors and sick days that can be impacted by improving resilience. So there's a significant potential for cost savings here. Uh, our cost per team participant, depending on volume, there's obviously volume discounts on bundles, it's around $85. So you could train for that same price as a recruiting and replacing one doc, you could be training 2,500 team members, and there may be COVID funds available for this. Uh, we, what really sets up a, us ahead of behavioral health apps is our commitment to medical grade and strict privacy policies. Uh, we use evidence-based protocols, the highest levels of data protection. No data is ever sold or shared. It's not, we have anonymized reports to our organizations. 
And we also have branding to the healthcare team. So when your team has it, it would say, you know, Sutter Health or University of California Medical School. Uh, that's, what your, that's what your team members would see. It's an active learning platform. This really also sets us apart from a lot of apps that are about good advice and tips. And we're metric space. So we're tracking validated assessments of progress using key, two key uh, um, scales used in psychology research uh, to track uh, global stress and resilience. Again, this is a highly uh, video rich, so it's really a media production. It's very engaging, super fun. Um, okay. okay. Uh, Patty, uh, that's it. That's, that's all the time we have, but thank you for that very interesting presentation. We can go to the judges and see if the judges have any questions for you. Uh, yeah, it's Gary. I, so I'd like to see those last two slides just because those are my questions. Wait, okay. Mm -hmm. you, uh, I, can, I can leave it here for a few moments and then I'll shift it to the other one. Okay. Uh, while you do that, is Stress Pals different from meditation apps like Headspace? Yes, it is. This is a training model. This is really about uh, a working... Uh, uh, developing psychological resilience. So Headspace is a program that does have some evidence, does have evidence behind it, evidence-based, is working with meditation. This is really a sequential developmental model to build uh, psychological flexibility and resilience, which is, and we utilize mindfulness meditation is an, is an adjunctive support service. But uh, mindfulness-based uh, alone is not the most durable for building psychological resilience. So it's, right. uh, Are your fees subscription-based or one-time fees? It's a subscription for a year, year at full year access. Okay, um, judges, I'm gonna. I can. I have questions here in the chat, but did you want to ask some questions? Yeah, I have one more. Um, so, in terms of looking at, so you know, I'm viewing this as a B two B, in that this is really. I mean, it's for the clinicians, right? Or it's for the employees within the organization. I'm a Sutter doc. So, I mean, and here we are in the middle of a pandemic where we're, we're suffering with huge rates of burnout. Um, so are you able to uh, implement your program and then be able to report back over a 12-month period the return on investment, the savings that you're incurring compared to what the standards would have or the, the metrics would have been without this program. Okay, so well, certainly if that's set up to be able to track, you know, things like attrition, we certainly can. What we're, what we're capturing is pre and post validated assessments on uh, a stress and resilience. So that can be provided as a report during that period. And, uh, but the, if to track, we, would, we could certainly make that, you know, Set, set that up so that we are tracking uh, within the pool who does the program, what, what is your change rate in, in these other metrics in terms, you know, that you're, that you're looking at. The reason I ask is like if there could be a risk share uh, reimbursement model in the long term potentially. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to use the data. Sorry, Susan, go ahead. I, I thought you were done. Uh, go ahead. Okay, sure. Uh, while I have this slide up, we we are um, look we are open and looking for uh, trial partners. So any of you who are interested in expanding it, uh, nurses have started the trial with Sutter Health. It's also being going to be announced to physicians soon. Um, but we and on investment side, we are looking for a seven hundred and fifty thousand uh, seed raise on a convertible note with a three point five million valuation cap, twenty percent discount. Using the funds as a twelve month runway. Uh, bring on key management and also to complete the build of the patient facing tool which would be a tool on the physicians clinical clinicians dashboard for helping uh, patients uh, it's an easy access code unique link very easy onboarding virtually no time for physicians to implement this tool as an adjunct service and add-on service for their patients so those are the that's what we're looking for in this build and to be able to provide that service Susan, in terms of data privacy, who, who gets to see the data and uh, will the companies, at least if they don't get to see the actual data because of patient or doc clinician privacy, at least get to see whether or not there are performance improvements uh, with the utilization of this product? Yes, yes. So uh, for the StressPal Frontline, the clinician's tool, uh, the, the, the participant will receive their, their outcome measures. 
uh, the organization would receive aggregate anonymized data. So uh, they would mm -hmm. see, see measures of change, but not, not tied to the individual name. So you had 100 people in taking the, doing the program. Th this is a breakdown of analytics that we can give them. And there's a number of analytics we can provide about the usage of the program and completion rates. Uh, we're going to do also in the trial, of course, we'll be looking nine month, uh, 90 days down the road. We'll be tracking it over time so that we can see the durability of the program. Uh, on the patient right. facing tool, uh, that within the doctor gets that information. So it's an under HIPAA compliant okay. program where the physician receives the outcome measures and stays in the loop. Terrific. Thank you so much. That's we're out of time. And so I want to thank you very much for this great presentation. And there are a couple of other questions in the chat that I would encourage you to answer if you have a moment. I will. And, um, I really appreciate while you're doing that program you gave and there was an outstanding panel the other day on burnout that we uh, was, was terrific and it's been a great oh and great conference Thank yeah, you so much. I'm sure we'd love to have you involved with that community on the GHIN and if, if that's something you and your company are interested in we, we should talk about that later mm -hmm. um, so Uli if we could put the poll up for stress pal and audience please go for it give us your best feedback in the meantime we can